Hey everyone, it's Steph from Modern Photo Solutions and I am so excited to show you how I have figured out to use the Pages app on my iPad to make moving video and photo books. So let's go into the Pages app and I have a template that I saved right down here. I created this template, saved it as a template and then moved it onto my iPad through Dropbox. All of my placeholders here have little plus signs you can see in the bottom corner where we can add media just by tapping on them. So let's go ahead and add our cover. This one right here. And you can see that it sizes it perfectly. There are a whole bunch of fun options that we can add to these pages, but I'm not going to go into that now. We'll move up onto the next page. And I have horizontal and vertical video placeholders right here. If I needed two of them, I would just go ahead and copy this one right here and paste it. So then I had two spots or vice versa for this one up here, or I can leave the mix if I have a mix of videos. But for this page, I just need one video spot. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this one and hold it and then delete. And then we'll come down here to this one, tap, and then we're going to drag it to move it up. I'll go ahead and tap on the plus icon to add my video. Come over here to my favorites. And it is the shorter video right here. And we'll tap on use. And Pages does compress the photos and the videos so that the file won't be as big, but these still can be pretty big files when we export them. Let's go ahead and add the coordinating page that goes with that video right here by tapping on the plus icon. And then it is this page right here that we need to add. And then we'll do one more page here. And this one also has a vertical video, vertical movie. So we'll tap on this one this media spot, hold it until we get that option to delete and then come and tap on this one and move it up. Tap on the plus icon and then we'll add this longer video over here. Tap on use and let's go and add the page by tapping on the plus icon. And then it's this page and tap done. You can also customize these icons right here and change the colors. But like I said before, I'm not going to get into that in this video. Let's go ahead and tap on these three dots up here in the upper right corner. And then we are going to tap on export and we are going to tap on EPUB and we can, there's a whole bunch of different options here. We can go ahead and, name this, which I want to do. So I'm going to tap on that. We'll change the author. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on send and it will export this for us. And then we can choose how we want to send it. We can save it to Dropbox to our iCloud drive. There's a whole bunch of options. I'm going to go ahead and open this in to iBooks. There's our cover and then here are our pages, facing pages. And let's watch this movie right now. Hi Sarah! And then same with this video over here. There's a little, you can see up in the left hand corner. That's our expand video. And then swipe that away to have it go back and close. And then we'll go back so that you can see the cover. Again, there it is right on the shelf with the other iBook that I was practicing with earlier. Let's open it up once again, just by tapping on it. There's our cover. And you can also see that if we come down here to the bottom right, we can swipe the pages 
to turn them. And that is how you can use pages on an iPad to make an ebook. It's an EPUB ebook that can be used in any e-reader that's compatible with EPUB files. And once again, I'm Steph from modernphotosolutions.com.